Alf and Narelle Russell are a very happy couple, with interesting stories to tell. It was a pleasure to interview Narelle to talk about themselves and Gladstone's past. Born in 1948 in Cairns, Alf lived in Coranda until he moved to Gladstone when he was 12 years old with his parents. He's the oldest sibling to his two sisters, Lynette and Thelma, and three brothers, Gregory, Kevin, and Peter, who he keeps in contact with. Alf first worked in carpentry and joinery for Grayson Brothers, and had his own building business for 35 years. He is now happily working for Gladstone Port Services on the Gladstone Harbour, tying up ships. Alf is the kindest, loveliest person you'd ever want to meet. Very quiet, very subdued, laid back, uh, does not like pushing himself forward, but a really great bloke. The reason he's not here, he's actually working. And at 74, he chooses to keep working. So Alf loves the water, absolutely loves it. So he's out on a boat on the water, working. <laughs> As a kid, Alf was very sporty, playing tennis, cricket, football, and golf. He played indoor cricket uh, when he was young. He played um, in the Colts team here, represented Gladstone, sent Queensland in, in cricket. So yeah, he's always been a sports person. He's been a man of action. Narelle was born in 1950 in Gladstone to Richard and Constance Thomas and has three older siblings, Yvonne, Kelvin and Raymond. Yes. Um, so I've lived, or apart from the two years of the uh, teacher's training college, I've lived in Gladstone all my life. Because um, when I graduated, I came back and I was teaching at Central, but Alf's, uh, Alf's the eldest of six. And um, when it came time to you know, grade eight high school, uh, Alf's dad didn't think there was enough opportunities for the education for kids in Coranda, so he applied for um, a job here in Gladstone. Uh, and whilst they were waiting to get a house here in Gladstone, um, Alf's mum and the six kids lived in Maryborough with um, Agnes's parents until Merv could get the house ready for them to live in, and then they moved here. So he was in grade eight when he moved to Gladstone. So it was 12, nearly 13. After graduating from Kelvin Grove Teachers College, she taught at Gladstone Central State School and would also admin for Alf's building business. Alf and Narelle were married Friday, 18th of December 1970, at the Star of the Sea in Gladstone. And like all good weddings, everything goes wrong. We arrived, the wedding was six o'clock on a Friday night. I've never, I've never really been conventional. Uh, so it was six o'clock on a Friday night, on the 18th of December, being a teacher, you know, you always had your weddings just to the beginning of the summer school holidays. So um, yes, everything was right. So we, I was, I actually was even early. I was there just a bit before six. But what happened, the organ blew a fuse. So they had to take the, um, the fuse out of the outside lights to put into the organ, to get the organ to work. So by the time we got into the church, it was 6.30, which meant it, by the time we got out of the church, it was dark. So then we had to wait. Well, they, took, they changed the fuses over again so we could get some photos taken outside of the, outside of the church. It was, a, yeah, something to remember. <laughs> Narelle was 20 and Alf was 23. Narelle also serves as the treasurer of the Gladstone Animal Rescue Group. All the animals rescued find new homes in Gladstone, Sydney, Brisbane and Tasmania, among other places. Well, actually, it's Michaela's fault that I got involved because she has always been an absolute animal lover. So she was involved with Friends of RSPCA and they needed a um, treasurer. So uh, she said, Mum, would you would you be like, would you be interested in doing, she was the secretary at that stage and the dog adoption officer. And I said, oh, yeah, I'll come along to the meeting. So yes, I got, I was elected and um, I stayed with them for uh, seven, eight years. She's also the president of the Gladstone Musical Society, singing with the choir for over 25 years. It's a ladies choir now, it wasn't always. It started out actually as a, well, in 1956, when it started off, it would, there just was very little entertainment whatsoever available in Gladstone, apart from the radio and uh, the movies, uh, sorry, the pictures, as we used to call them. And then there was, you know, like travelling shows or shows that people would put on at, at the Town Hall, which is now the uh, Art Gallery and Museum. Uh, so that started out as a full orchestra plus the, uh, a four-part a four choir. But now over time, as you know, things have progressed, we're now down to, we're a ladies choir. Uh, we meet on a Tuesday morning and 
have lots of fun singing and laughing and all the rest of it. And uh, between two and three times a year, we do a concert, and we do that at the senior sits. Uh, we do it for daytime, not nighttime. We, we aim our entertainment at people in the same sort of age group as we are. Uh, you know, still very young. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just we always put on a, a concert. Um, and we have morning tea and then we have the concert and it's just a great fun. It's, the audience love it, we love it and we just love to sing. During their initial interview with Xander, Bailey and James from Tulua State High School, Noel concluded that learn something new each day. If you don't, you've wasted a day. We asked if this was still true today. I believe in that entirely. I haven't worked out what the new thing I've learned today is yet. Maybe I haven't learned it yet. But I will learn something new today. Maybe it may even be just something that I don't like the way somebody sings on the voice tonight, but I will have learned something new. Fantastic. <laughs> and that's it. That's but, thank you so much. <laughs>